Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. In this video, I am going to show you on how to use the option group in Microsoft Access. Now, let us start. We will gonna use this one, guys. Uh, add user account and also the employee list. And also the issue one says. And also the navigation form. We will use uh, these four forms for our sample. So now let us create a form design and then let us find the option group this one guys option group click on this and then release so let us type the first option guys user account setup and then the next line is like for example employee list and then issue one says and the last but not the list navigation form Okay, these four options guys. Click next. And then, do you want one option to be the default choice? For me, I don't want a default. So, I have to click this. No. Then next. And remember guys, this is the value of each options. One, two, three, four. Click next. And here we go. This is the preview of our option group. And if you want to change this bullet, you can use this checkbox. And then for the border style, you can use shadow, okay, this one, or else flat, or else raise. But for me, I will use this edge. So now, next, and then let's type form option. Okay, that one, and then click finish. Here we go. So this one, guys. So now let us uh, add a another command which is the command button cancel let's put open form okay, this one okay user account set up or employee list issue one says and then if we click this open form the issue one says form would be or should be open but there's no code yet so let us Add guys but before that if this is null whether if this is null it should be or it should have a message which is uh, like for example please select a one of the options something like that remember guys uh, the name of this let us change this let's type to form option okay that one in the value is one uh, three four okay that's it so now let us start then good builder okay so now let us start with the f is null f is null and then me that form so this is the name of our option group the second one then what is the result there's a message the message is please select one of the options and then that is information and then it should be required the title is required okay so now let us try guys but before that I have to type NF okay close this the name is uh, form one it's okay so when we open this and then when we click this open form please select one of the options and then it's required click ok so if we select this one open form now let us continue the coding since this is F so we'll proceed to and else if else if me that form options is equal to one then uh, the next function is those cmd open form the name of the form is this one so let's copy paste this 
user account. So let's try guys. Open form. Okay. If this the second option, nothing. Open form. Okay. So now let's proceed to the next guys. Employee list. We can copy this. equals to to and then the to is employee list okay copy and then also copy paste for the value of 3 3 is issuances okay let's copy paste Okay, let us try guys. Employee list. Okay, basic employee information. And then if issuance is, okay, that's it. Let's go back to user account setup. Okay, so now let's proceed to this one, navigation form. So copy paste. FA. Okay, let's type 4 and then navigation form. This one, copy paste. If we click this, okay, navigation form. About issuances, okay. Navigation form, okay. How about, uh, how about let us close this? Open again. Open form. Select one of the options. If you select, that's it. And what if, guys, you want to add another option? So all you have to do is to copy paste. Okay. Copy this one. And then paste. But as you observe, guys, there's an error. The error, if we click this, the error is invalid control property and this is the option value why because duplicate option by value so the option value is four and this one also is number four so it's really duplicate so we have to put or we have to change this into five so now it's okay let's type every example report try okay so let's let us add to the code yes instead of else if so since since this is the last uh, options we can use else only and then do cmd open form the name of the form is reports Okay, that's it. Now let us try, guys. Open form. Okay, this is report. If you want this, okay, reports. That's it. So I think this is enough. If you have some questions, you know what to do, just comment it down below. And if you are new to this channel guys and you want to learn more about Microsoft Access then please consider subscribing this channel for more informative videos. So that's all. Thank you and see you to my next video.